for, well, first of all, let's let's remember that we're we're speaking a week when there's the big American holiday, Thanksgiving, and I always think of the slaughter of the indigenous people in this country around this time of year, and people like Leonard Peltier, the political prisoner who. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like uh, yet another president is going to leave office without um, uh, pardoning Leonard Peltier. Uh, but to, to watch what we're seeing uh, come out of, uh, of the protesters on this, uh, the protectors on this indigenous land facing down against environmental destroying uh, companies, um, you know, really brings home the kind of utter hypocrisy of the narrative about the United States of America. Uh, but also, if you look at the way that these indigenous people and their supporters are being treated versus the Bundy ranchers, you know, who didn't occupy their native land, they went and they took over uh, federal land with weapons uh, and ended up getting acquitted, uh, including of the, ver of the charges that they were very clearly guilty of, which is all these weapons uh, possession charges. And it makes you wonder, if this is the state of affairs under President Obama, who actually has visited native reservations and native territories, uh, what's going to happen under Trump? And, and this firm, Tiger Swan, um, was founded by a Delta Force operative named James Reese and has done uh, voluminous amounts of covert and overt work for the U.S. military in Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere around the world. And, and you know, you, you you realize that you have this convergence of all that has been so wrong in the post-9-11 world with these uh, big uh, environment-destroying companies, stripping uh, even further of indigenous rights, private security forces, the brutality against protesters, the paramilitarization of law enforcement. And now our incoming president, I still feel strange saying that, Donald Trump, also has business connections to the, you know, the, the, the pipeline uh, project. Uh, is, he, is he going to divest? Is he going to... I mean, he, the, the, like, this is going to go from the level of Obama just being, you know, really bad on these policies to Trump actively trying to make it worse for the environment.